In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to vectorize images with the US Cutter Edition of Vinyl Master Cut. First, let's compare images to vectors. I will create an arrow and show you how it's made from lines, which can be followed by a blade in a vinyl cutter, and cut the shape out. I will now load an image, which I can do from the Images menu, or from an Explorer window, where I can simply drag and drop an image into the designing area, like so. I can then paste the image to any size and position I wish. And although this looks like artwork that could be cut out, it is only an image. When I zoom in, you can see it is just made up of thousands of very small square dots called pixels and is therefore a bitmap. Bitmaps have no path for the cutter blade to follow. The solution is to trace a bitmap which will create a path for our cutter, hence the term vectorizer. To do this, click on vectorizer here. The bitmap is then loaded into the vectorizer, which reads the data in and performs a raw trace around the boundaries of the pixels. We can see the software has found three distinct colours, but the artwork contains a green area, so we need to add it. To do this, click here and add it to the colour bar. You'll also see white has a red X through it. This means white will be ignored and not traced, because it is the background colour. By right-clicking on a colour patch, we can switch colours on or off, which is very useful in some situations. So be sure to have all the colours you wish to trace in the colour bar and only trace the colours you need to. Next, we need to turn the raw trace into a cuttable vector using the trace options. Smoothing is used to turn jagged or bumpy areas into more sweeping curves. The higher the setting, the more smooth the results and aesthetically pleasing, at the expense of the artwork's overall accuracy. The lower the setting, the more accurate the results, but prone to picking up noise within the artwork. Corners relate to acute and right angles within the artwork. Setting corners high will attempt to create right angles wherever possible within the artwork, and a lower setting will result in acute and sharp corners rounding off rather than remaining as intersecting lines. Level of detail refers to small groups of pixels. A higher setting will keep these to be traced, whereas a lower setting will ignore these and effectively delete them. Checking replace source image means the original bitmap will be deleted when the trace is accepted. Uncheck this if you do not wish to delete the bitmap. Selecting solid contours only ignores any artwork that contains holes, so only solid areas will be traced. To trace the artwork and once the settings have been adjusted, click Trace here and the vectorizer will take the raw trace and process it with the new settings as shown in the preview. If you wish to try other settings you are free to do so, then click Trace again when you are satisfied with the results. Just click Accept and the traced artwork will then be returned to the designing area as cuttable vectors, as shown here. Now, if we view the artwork in wireframe mode, you can see that the traced results are now an outline of the object rather than a solid image. And as you can see, when we zoom in, the artwork is now vectors or paths. These vectors can now be adjusted very easily and be noted on the screen to make sure they are as accurate as possible, as you can see here. And when you are ready to cut the curves out, simply select and then click Center Cutter, as shown here, and they will load directly into the Center Be Cut module, as shown here. If, however, I try to cut the bitmap, the software will reject it as there is nothing to cut, as it is only an image made up of pixels with no vector path to follow. So that is an outline of how to vectorize using the US Cutter Edition of Vinyl Master Cut. Thank you.